Okay, here we are at Blair's Pond in Milford, Delaware. I'm in the polycarbonate boat that uh, I folded from a 4x8 sheet of plastic. Basically, that's what part of the carbonate is. Uh, we're getting a little tour here on the pond. I'm going to turn this around and give you a tour of the boat. Uh, by the way, that's that I'm sitting right at the at the transom, if you can see that. Um, the boat is only six foot ten. Here is the front end of it. Uh, you can see the business in there. We got a trolling motor, 30 pound thrust. If you push, we turn left. If you pull, we turn right. The battery. We got a couple of oars just in case. Uh, this is the relocated controls, uh, speed controls that is for the trolling motor. You can see there it's got uh, forward and reverse, five forward, three reverse speeds. Uh, there you go, a little brand recognition. Found a nice little battery meter. This particular trolling motor did not come with a battery meter, but I found a nice one on eBay. I'm not sure if you can see that right there. Um, basically, here's the boat. It's clear. Uh, you can see. Let's see down here. There's the water line. Let's see there. You can see the. That's this is uh, the, with the camera inside the boat. The whole boat is clear. Uh, it's hard to video the boat while I'm in the boat because uh, it's so small. So here at uh, the controls, we are about 36 inches wide. At the transom where I'm sitting, we are 24 inches wide. Uh, it's a deep V in the front, it's a flat bottom in the back, and of course the geometry that transitions between the two. Uh, in the back here we have a total uh, draft of about 12 inches, uh, or that's the, I'm sorry, the depth, depth of the boat right now, we're at 6 inches is our draft. The front of the boat is about 15, 15 and a half inches deep, and you can see there we are about 8, maybe 10 inches to the waterline. So all in all it's not a bad... Uh, little boat as far as capacity is concerned uh, between my weight the battery and the, the motor uh, we're looking at about 300 pounds in this little boat I calculate that it will swamp at 600 pounds so we've got a, uh, a safety factor of basically one um, so it'll hold my weight and then we have a safety factor of another 300 pounds um, not bad really the, the entire boat is is rather thin, you can see right here. It's uh, maybe, I would say it's a sixteenth of an inch. I think it's a sixteenth of an inch of the material we, we got. And by itself, you can see it's unsupported. It's, it's a little flimsy. Uh, but here in the cockpit area, I've got a, a rather robust 1x4 frame holding it all together. Uh, this is, of course, the prototype, and the finished boat will... Uh, hopefully be much nicer. Let's see how this thing cruises. Uh, we've got five speeds. I'm going to select one here. You can see that we're we're moving uh, slowly but a, at a respectable speed. Uh, remember this is a 30 pound thrust motor. The boat itself only weighs about 15 pounds um, and it's carrying 300 pounds of, of payload really. Uh, not bad. A little gentle left hand turn. Uh, she will. She basically has a, a zero turn radius. Uh, we have so much movement in the linkage here that I can turn left fully, 360 degrees on the center axis of the boat, and uh, turn right just as just as tightly. Uh, that's speed one. Let's let's pick this up to about. Uh, let's go to full speed. This is full 30 pounds of thrust here. I'm not sure if you can hear the wake. We're actually fighting a little bit of a, of a current here, but it's not terrible. Not sure if you can make out the speed. Pretty decent. Let's take a look at, at the water line. It's moving along pretty nice. Rather decently. And there you have it.